Hi everyone, Rach here from Inky Piles. Welcome to a swatching video. Uh, today I'm going to swatch the um, French inks. <laughs> uh, I'm going to start with the three that I originally had. Um, where are we? There. Um, <clears throat> the three that I originally had prior to placing all my orders so I'll do those on a separate page and then I'll let the, the page dry and then we will swatch uh, these except we'll swatch four of them basically I will do the orange which is there um, because even though I'm using the cartridges I'm curious to see how much of a difference there is between the ink in the bottle and the ink in the cartridge I am hazarding a guess there shouldn't be a difference, but I'm curious. So we'll swatch the orange. We won't swatch that because it will have already been done. And then the other four that are new colours to me. So let's crack on. Um, so we'll start with the grey, which I know and have been using already. Um, yeah, you can kind of see if it focuses enough. So that's how much I've taken out already, whereas it comes right up to the lid if it's a full bottle. It's not focusing on the bottle, it's focusing on something else. Okay, alright, so we'll start with this grey. Uh, and I'm going down the paintbrush line rather than a cotton bud line. I will add a little bit of extra to one end. I'm not 100% certain of the reasoning for it because to my mind that layer that's been laid down now is closest to what it's going to write with. Um, but I will just do that anyway. Okay. Tissues. Actually ripped sheets is what I have got and I probably actually need to make it, it smaller oh yes crikey <laughs> let's just do a quick snip job um, let's fold it in half it'll be a lot quicker I'd be curious to know if people could give me an idea of sound um, I noticed when I I uh, checked back another video that I did in this position that possibly the sound is not as good as some of my other videos because I've got the camera off to the side rather than directly above. Um, I might have to look at the whole microphone situation, but... Um, oh, no. I did smudge my page. <laughs> right. Oh, that's not a good place to do it. Okay, so let's just wash that and let that dry a bit. Um, I will have a go with the glass pen, even though I've actually got this inked already. Um, I'll just do, I'll have a go. you can see my writing in the wild uh, okay so we've now smudged some of the space this tip of this is so fine I'll hold this up grey N-U-A-G-E Nuage This will only be relevant to um, Aussie and Kiwi viewers but I feel I need French lessons from Manu <laughs> Okay Let's move on to another colour We'll go for the pink I do love these wee bottles and I'm curious to know how long it takes to go through a bottle. 
especially when you're using lots of um, different colours. So, oh, that's a bright pink. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm not even going to lay down any more colour on top of that because there's quite a bit on the top line. Wow. Yep. <laughs> I see lots of people when I'm watching these videos do exactly the same thing. They put the lid back on and realise something fell. Realise they need to dip their pen in. Okay. And this is Rose. I'm going to run out of room there. Ten dress. Wow. I'm paranoid about this pen. Glass tip to pen. That is beautiful. Focus. Thank you. Is my arm getting in the way and cause problems? Okay. I'll have to look into that. Okay, and the last one that I got prior to spending to blowing the budget is this green. This also looks like it's going to be a nice green. Wow. So you can see that I like vibrant colours at this point in time. We'll see where we are in a year's time. <laughs> Did it again, didn't I? Right, let's just get that out and onto the towel to dry. Okay, these are loads of French words. And I will just swatch, I'll hold the page up in a moment, even though I've done this about three times in this book already. Uh, this is uh, let's get the right spelling. Yep. Okay, get that out of the way. That back in there. So that is where we are at currently. Where is the. So, what I have done here, I've just got it zoomed in so it's a little bit awkward, is as I use the ink cartridges that I had previously owned, I will just come in and swatch them on this page um, like I've done with this one. So um, that'll eventually get filled up uh, all right so i'm going to just switch the camera off for a few minutes and let this page dry and then we will turn over and we'll tackle the new box back in a bow okay so i've let that dry enough i feel i just wanted to show the back side uh, yeah <laughs> You can kind of see where the pink has come through quite a bit, um, but it hasn't smudged any of the ink on the back of the page. Um, so, all right, let's tackle these boxes, the, the jars in the boxes. 
so we'll pull them out. Um, I'm going to swatch the orange. I'm not going to open that pink. And I'm not going to attempt to say the colours. <laughs> yeah, okay. So we will, I'll just do the pink again. What's on that side? Okay, well, we'll see. Just because it's part of this collection. Um, I think I just said I wasn't, but I, I will just lay it down again because it is actually part of this collection. And I will find the name of the collection, I think, and add it to this page. have to learn how to put music onto the videos. Okay, so that one we are done with. Right, we'll do the orange. I'm just curious to see how different it is. It's got a sticky patch on it. They might have to come in with the fountain pen and add good colouring within the lines, Rachel. I was close to having an accident. Disabash that a bit too much. curiosity don't really want to open the bottle again <laughs> She really doesn't look like there is any discernible difference which I kind of thought would be the case but I was just curious okay so we have got we'll go for that color next uh, maybe we'll do them in that order okay so this is a salmony pink I would say um, Almost a pinky brown, actually. Okay, I would actually put this in the browns completely. Be interesting to see. There's a very pinky look to the jar. Okay, how do we spell this? R O U. Fingers. 
That is interesting. How are we going coming through the other side? Not too bad. This is a Loistrum. I'm doing this in my um, B6 Tomo River paper notebook has yet to arrive. All right, this is a mossy green. Okay, Vert Empire. Vert Empire. <laughs> Don't even go there. Uh, I was looking at some of the collection boxes you can get for this brand, and there's a collection of, I think, six inks. <coughs> that are replicas, remakes, um, of the original inks that they developed for one of the French kings 350 years ago, which I thought was quite cool, but I think it's it's a pretty penny to get, and I don't think I've seen it available in New Zealand, which would add to it being a pretty penny. Okay, so we'll look at this. Another tealy green, maybe light tealy green. Turquoise, judging by that lid. Tealy, turquoise, teal. One of those two. Oh, actually. Yeah, I would verge on, oh, look at that. That is beautiful. I'll hold the page up properly in a minute. Okay, and the last one. Kalanik, blue Kalanik. Oh my. Okay. <laughs> That's beautiful. Okay, so that is the six that came in this box. Wow. I think that obviously the orange I'm already using I like this rose tin dress, which is not said in any French accent. Uh, and I like these bottom two, the sort of the the blue and the more tealy colour. Turquoise, teal. Teal is blue verging on green, I would have said, so that's probably what it is because it's got vert in the name. These two, the, the more neutrals, uh, the jury is out at this point in time. Um, but certainly, oh, I'm pleased I have two bottles of the pink, that's that's one thing. Um, I was looking for a nice pink that you could see clearly on the page, so I'm pleased about that. 
uh, and I can see me looking at getting some more of these once I've used what I've got. Um, the, I don't have any of these colours. That's a different blue. I thought there was a green. Yeah. So the green that I've already got is a more of a lime green. Um, there, that's better. And the blue I've got is probably a a more bluer blue than the one on the page. So yes, very nice. Okay, uh, I shall call this video quits uh, and um, I will be back with another swatch. Actually, it's at a point. Yep, we're going all right. I'll be back with another swatch of the Monteverde inks very soon. Thanks everyone. Bye for now.